almost 4 years, sa wakas, may live audience na ulit ang longest running Sunday musical variety show on Philippine television na ASAP natin to. At isa ako sa mga mapapalad na naka-experience ng world-class entertainment sa ABS-CBN studio. Thank you so much to all the fans who've been there, even during the pandemic. We're so happy that of course Channel 5 has saved us to be seen by most of the, and if not the rest of the world. We're just so happy that we're all part of this big family. Bukod sa live audience, may isa pang nagbabalik asap. Such a blessing. Sobrang nakakatuwa ang pakiramdam. It does feel great to be back home. Parang nagbakasyon na nga ako ng segment. Kumalik ako. Ipinagdiriwang kasi ng ASAP ang kanilang 29th anniversary kaya talagang pinaghandaan at mas kinabong ka pa nila ang kanilang performances para sa mga kapamilya at kapatid. Pero teka, paano nga ba nagsimula ang programa? Flashback 29 years ago, I was there when ASAP was just a thought on a piece of paper. Someone came in and said, Martin, we need a name. Come inside here. We're brainstorming. And we all thought of different names and concepts. And we came up, and I came up with the title, ASAP, All-Star Sunday Afternoon Party. Ah, yun pala yung meaning ng ASAP? Kala ko kasi, as soon as possible. <laughs> Kaya kapatid, kung gusto mo rin nga panood ng live ang ASAP, stay tuned and make sure na nakafollow ka sa official Facebook pages ng News 5 at ASAP para malaman mo as soon as possible kung kailan at paano maging isang live studio audience. Iba kasi talaga pag personal mong naririnig at napapanood yung mga production number compared sa TV or online. Eto pa, mafe-feel mo rin kung gaano nakaka-proud maging Pilipino dahil sa husay ng ating mga singer. And as a K-pop fan, aamin ko nakaka-amaze din talaga yung talent na kibang lahi, lalo na nang mapanood ko ang ilang K-pop stars sa isinagawa recently na Asia Artist Awards sa Philippine Arena. Pero iba pa rin yung mangha ko pag Pinoy talents na ang last sa entablado. Patunay lang yan na tayo mga Pinoy kayang makipagsabayan sa buong mundo lalo na sa pag-awit, pagsayaw at pagtatanghal. At isa nga ang ASAP sa mga platform para dyan. We do our best every Sunday sa lahat ng performances namin. And pag sinabi mong ASAP world class, excellence. I see their professionalism. Walang nagre-reklamo pag rehearse because they're all here. Ang gagaling lahat din. Mga best of the best. So, it will always be inspiring to me. Paganda nga talaga ng paganda ang ASAP. 29 years is a long journey, so I'm so proud na naabot ito ng isang show. Ano nga ba yung sikreto nila to their success? It's because of the people that we work with. Because we, they really try to make the show great every single time. It's not just us. You just see us sing, but it's really the people behind the camera who work so hard to make us look good. It's a blessing with my dear friends who are not only excellent singers, but excellent people. So, happy anniversary, guys. It always gets better every year. So, 29 is better than ever. What makes ASAP 29 better than ever? ASAP 29, the reason why, what makes it better than ever is we're willing to change. We're willing to listen. We're willing to have people who don't have a name yet. We're willing to struggle. We're willing to make a few mistakes. Hurt a few people along the way, oh, but not on purpose. We're willing to, to admit our mistakes and move on. I think that's the secret to our success. ASAP 29 is indeed better than ever. Panoorin ang ASAP natin totoong linggo sa TV5. Ako si multimedia producer M. Solaybar ng News 5 Digital. Kita-kits po ulit tayo mga kapatid sa next video. Yay!